If you maintain a healthy lifestyle, you maintain a healthy mindset. Mm. So a lot of times we procrastinate because we don't have a healthy mindset. Yeah. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle will help you create a, a, a healthy mindset. Yep. And that's what's going to help you create action. Stop eating fast food every single day. Dude, fast food is the worst. Yep. Hot dog, schmack, all that crap, it makes you sluggish. And when you get sluggish, you don't Super want to do sluggish, shit. sluggish, brain fog. Brain bloated. fog, right? It's very important. No Stay away from enough. sugar, all that stuff. So yeah. healthy lifestyle, healthy mindset, you can start creating action right away. Yep. Next, number nine. Create an inspiring work environment. Oh, man, environment of work is, like I told you, I have a room. My room, my office in my house is literally dedicated for work. It inspires me. I love it. My, my, my screen is 50 inches. I got my quotes everywhere. I got my music jamming. I got my setup. And I don't have a lot of fucking clutter. It's my work environment is important. So you got to have a work environment. Mm. What kind of environment are you in to create work? Yeah. You know it's what I mean? One. Are you in the same environment where you get fucking screened by your mom? Time to move out. Yeah. Figure it out. But you got to create a work environment for you that's conducive to grow. Okay? Next, number 10. Reward yourself. This is a big one. If I go to the gym today, I'm going to eat that snack. The healthy snack. I got my, you know, my cheeses, my healthy cheeses. I got the protein cheeses. Right? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Right? So I reward myself. When I do X, I'm going to do Y. I usually eat Monday through Friday extremely healthy. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, I have one cheat meal, and Sunday I have another cheat meal. And it's amazing. Like this cheat meal like this past week, I had freaking, whew. Cheat meal, not cheat day. No, not cheat day. Cheat meal. Who? Cheat meal. I'll be fucking dying. Yeah. Cheat. Sorry, not cheat day, but die. Cheat <laughs> meal. Yeah. I had a cheese, uh, two cheeseburgers. Nice. Oh, amazing. Went to the spot. Number one spot. <sighs> it was amazing, mm -hmm. right? It was great. We should go there, actually. We got to go there. It's an amazing, amazing food. So reward yourself, right? Have some, have some goals. Have a little gift. If I do X, Y, and Z, boom. Yeah. Right? Reward yourself. Uh, and number 11 is called the Eisenhower Decision Matrix, right? So it basically talks about um, if, it's, uh, if it's, you know, important or urgent. If it's important, right, and it's urgent, guess what? Do it now. Do it right now. Yep. If it's important but it's not urgent, do it later. Right? If it's urgent and not important, don't fucking do it. Yeah. It's not important. Delegate it to someone. Right? If yeah. it's if it's urgent, right? Yeah. If it's urgent but it's not important, uh, if it's urgent and not important, then delegate it. If it's not urgent and it's not important, what do you do? Eliminate it. Right? Simple. Yeah. Either do it now or do it later or delegate it or delete it. Do it now, do it later, delegate it or delete it. Those are the mindsets. Yep. So procrastination only happens. The reason why people procrastinate is because, you know, they're not understanding that this is, I, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Why do people procrastinate? I have no, I'm trying to figure out why people procrastinate. I have no fucking idea because I'm not a procrastinator. I have no fucking idea. Like, when I think of something to do, I just do it. That's me. Because I hate, I hate when things pile up. So why do you think people procrastinate? I mean, you, you come from a procrastination world. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it comes maybe from lazy nature. Interesting. What is lazy nature? I don't, I don't understand that shit. <laughs> I, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not a lazy I, I person. I think it comes from lazy nature or just distractions, which is a you know one of the things that's like eliminate distractions and that'll help. Um, you know, you keep you keep yourself busy ish, and I think it just stems it's I think it just stems from like lazy nature. Uh, I and I guess it depends on the task, like what you're doing, why you're doing it, who's it for, you know. Interesting. So let me ask you this: When you think about procrastination, right? What is it that goes into your mind like when you know you have to do something? Like, what goes like, ah, uh, I'll do it later? Like, what happens? That's a good question. Yee! Um, it's funny because I feel like whenever I do things for myself, I kind of want to get it done right away. But then when I have, like, it's work or whatever that I got to edit and I got to do for a client or whatever it is, then that's where I get, like. I think I know what it is. I think it's uh, when you don't feel like you're going to get a result from it because you're like, ah, it may work, it may not work. You kind of, like, don't want to put that much energy. But if you know for a fact, like if you do X, Y, and Z, you'll feel great and it'll be X, Y, like amazing, yeah. I think you'll more likely be doing so. I think a lot of times procrastination comes from doubt. That's what I think it comes from, doubting. When you doubt the activity is going to create a reward for you, yeah. you don't do the activity. Like I'll give you an example. Like if you got to go out there knocking on doors, it's not easy to knock on doors. But if you know that if you go knock on doors today, you'll make fucking a yeah. certain amount of money, you'll knock on doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're like, ah, I don't know, maybe, maybe now, you kind of yeah. start procrastinating and say, ah, I don't really want to go. You, yeah, if you change the value of whatever it is the, it's the, the it's, result is it's the then. belief it's the yeah. belief and the doubt that you have right so i realized for me i never got i never allowed myself to be in the doubt world i always wanted to be in the believe world it's gonna happen i'm fucking crazy it's gonna happen like i always thought of things that are gonna uh, are gonna 100 happen for me 
I just felt lucky. I felt blessed that it, like if I go out there, I'm gonna fucking make it. Yeah. And because I felt lucky and blessed, I actually got lucky and blessed. Mm. Whereas a lot of people that like, oh, I don't know, my me, God doesn't love me, the world doesn't like me, all this bullshit. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, doubt, 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 and now you don't want to fucking do what you need to do. So what ha- what helped me out was that I had this cockiness, so to say, arrogance at that time that I said, if I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna fucking make money. Yeah. And it was a little bit scary, but that that cockiness and arrogance kind of took over. And I guess that's what ended up happening. I ended up making money because of that. Because you need a little bit of that, that arrogance, cockiness, that, that confidence, so to say, right, when you're going out there to make, to make money. You have to really feel, you got to be a little bit delusional yeah. to feel that you're going to win yeah. when, when, the, when the odds are extremely against you. Like, think about it. Think about knocking on doors as an example. Like, you got to knock on 250 doors that day, and you're expecting to go to random, complete strangers that know nothing about you, mm-hmm. and you got to convince them to buy something that day. Whether it's a five hundred dollar product or a fifty thousand dollar product, and I've done it all, and they do it, and you're like, how? How does that happen? And it's not preying on people, okay? P R E Y, no. It's not manipulating people, no. You're doing things in the right way. You're adding value to people. How are you able to do that? It's a skill set, but it's yeah. also you have to have a little bit of a delusional mindset to say, you know what? I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna knock on doors. I'm gonna get the result. 